ma 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 a federal judge in Mississippi on Friday temporarily blocked a state law that effectively bans abortions after the sixth week of pregnancy. So understand that not all abortions are banned, just abortions after six weeks. I don't think they're making that abundantly clear because they're really making it seem like these places are banning all abortions and it's only abortions after six weeks. I don't know if that makes a difference, but I like clarity. Um, judge Carlton W. Reeves of the Federal District Court in Jackson, Mississippi, issued a preliminary injunction against the ban delivering another judicial rebuke of laws that seek to forbid abortions in early pregnancy, a type of measure that has gained traction across the South this year. Hmm. Who is Judge Carlton W. Reeves? Before I even go on, let me show you. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Let me read this man's words, okay? <clears throat> Keep in mind, you know, how black men are being attacked right now for their toxic masculinity and that, you know, Roe versus Wade was built on the black man's penises um, and basically that um, the whole women's movement, you know, you know, pretty much. Uh, give us some money because the black men might rape us. Help us out because the black men might rape us. Like the whole thing. Okay. I'm sorry. I went off on a tangent. My, my bad. My bad. Um, okay. 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 Um, a type of measure that has gained traction across the South this year. The decision was also at least the second since November that limited Mississippi's efforts to restrict abortions. Now, listen to his words. The law threatens immediate harm to women's rights and prevents a woman's free choice, which is central to personal dignity and autonomy. Toxic, oh, this black man toxic masculinity is just too much out here. Did you hear that? <laughs> Jesus. He just wants to oppress us. This injury outweighs any interest the state might have in banning abortions after the detection of a fetal heartbeat. He lashed out at state leaders for pressing proposals that he felt plainly defied Roe v. Wade, the 1973 Supreme Court ruling that legalized abortion nationwide. How interesting. I got to, the irony that you would get Roe versus Wade on the back, on the shaft of a black man. And now it's the black man as a judge that is defending that very same case. This, this is, okay, let me keep going. The state chose to pass a law it knew was unconstitutional to endorse a decades-long campaign fueled by national interest groups to ask the Supreme Court to overturn Roe v. Wade, the judge wrote in November. This court follows the commands of the Supreme Court and the dictates of the United States Constitution rather than the, rather than the disingenuous calculations of the Mississippi legislator. <laughs> Let me show you this bitch again. Okay, just in case you forgot who said this. All right. Um, the Mississippi law, which was set to take effect on July 1st, would have barred abortions once healthcare providers were able to detect the pulsing of what will become a fetus's heart, which can be as early as six weeks into pregnancy. I don't like how they worded that. I mean, we're going to get I'll, I'll, I'll explain my views later. The laws was just one of the year's so-called fetal heartbeat bills that supports and critics alike, that supporters and critics alike would effectively ban abortions before many women even knew that they were pregnant. Under the Mississippi law, abortions would have been permitted after the detection of a fetal pulsing only to save a woman's life or to prevent serious risk or substantial irreversible impairment or major bodily uh, function of the pregnant woman. Doctors who perform abortions that were illegal under the statute would have been jailed for up to six months. Didn't you hear 99 years? All right, we're gonna keep going. Maybe that was a different state. A court blocked a similar law in Kentucky in March and, compar and comparable measures in Arkansas, Iowa, North Dakota faltered in the courts before that. But the history of courtroom defeats has not deterred abortion critics who have championed similar restrictions this year um, in, among other states, Georgia and Ohio. Louisiana legislators are expected to vote on a comparable proposal next week. The ban continues a long-running strategy by Mississippi lawmakers and the National Anti-Abortion Special Interest Groups to eliminate abortion in the state. And unfortunately, the entire nation, lawyers for the Center for Reproductive Rights said in a court filing the suit, the six-week ban is on a collision course with Roe v. Wade. We talked about Roe v. Wade and its progeny by design. Okay, my views. Look, I understand the statistics. 18 million 
black babies have been aborted since 1973. That's a large number. But the reason I, I keep telling you guys that this is about um, the white woman's right to choose, because like I said, they're killing up. Don't you think it's interesting that at the same time that they are trying to block abortion, they are trying to force our children to be vaccinated? I feel that it's kind of a, a correlation since they're going to since that's going to this this abortion plan is going to block the 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 amount of uh babies that would be aborted let's get them with the vaccines if we make it mandatory everybody got to get it i don't know just thought but so even though 18 million black babies have been aborted since 1973 i believe the, the statistic was um white women's percentage of babies is higher like overall 18 million sounds like a lot but they i think their percentage of how many you know baby of their babies are aborted is like 62 percent so that's the reason why they're like if we could just keep that 62 percent we could get our birth rate over zero that just wanted to interject that real quick but i try not to judge because I just thank God that I've never been in that situation where I had to make that decision on whether I was to keep, to continue with a pregnancy or to end it. I've tried very hard to never be in that situation where I had to make that decision because I had friends that had to make that decision. And I saw what they went through. It was not an easy decision. It wasn't like they were some callous, heartless people where they just did something. They were in a situation where they felt that it would be inhumane to bring a child into their particular situation. To make a child suffer the way that child would have suffered if they had brought it into the world. So for that reason, I respect people's right to choose. But I also am a big advocate for making sure you don't have to make that decision. Just to, if, and to young girls that have not had the life experience to have to make that decision, Take precaution to make sure that you don't have to make that decision. Because even though my friends had to make those decisions, a lot of them still think about this child that could have been years and years later. Like I said, it's not an easy decision. It's not one that these women take lightly. So think about you don't, what I learned from them, one was not to judge. That's number one, because I saw the anguish I could empathize, I could feel it. But what I also learned is I didn't want to be in that position. I didn't want to have to make that decision. Like I, I just, I did everything in my power to make sure that I was never in the position to have to make that decision. And that's what I'm an advocate for. <laughs> Handle your business. I will tell you guys the same as I used to tell, you know, my you know younger, women who would ask me questions along these lines. You're a grown woman, right? You're doing grown woman things, right? Take your behind to the doctor and make sure you do something. Sex is for reproduction. So don't think that you could have sex without doing something extra to stop yourself from getting pregnant. Without getting pregnant, you're going to get pregnant because that's what sex is for. So that would be my advice. Figure out some way to put a blockage. Okay? Or in addition to wrapping it up. In addition to wrapping it up, okay? You need those, okay? Two types of protection. One for disease, one for pregnancy. And that's just my advice and my, um, yeah. And I guess my, my, my uh, advice to men is stop having sex with people you don't want to be the mother of your children. <laughs> Y'all crack me up. Y'all be having so much fun with the ratchet girls, right? The ultra ratchet. Y'all be having so much fun, right? Until she gets pregnant. Now your daughter is twerking in a diaper. <laughs> stop doing it. Just stop. Oh, God, rub it off. What are y'all doing? Baby boy, what y'all doing? That's my only advice to the men. Like, Jesus, just don't do it. 